So for the next step, you want to have um, your crown stem and your crown. And you want to go ahead and I, you know, I just do this by hand, thread the crown onto the stem. And it just twists right on. Kind of secure it tightly. It doesn't have to be super tight. Then you're going to want to go ahead Get your brass tweezers out, press your detent, install the crown stem so you know it's functioning. And this is where we're going to need our digital calipers to take a measurement because we want to determine how much we need to cut off this crown stem so it goes into the case and is flush. Now you want to have the crown in the pushed in position or the winding position when you take this measurement because we want the cut to bring it straight to the case. If you have it in the hand setting uh, position and take the measurement and cut to that length then when you go to push it into the winding position you'll have cut the crown too short. You cannot cut the crown longer but you can cut it too short. So um, you want to err on the side of caution when we're doing this but essentially I'm going to grab my digital calipers and um, what's nice is these are included in the new Casker toolkit um, something we didn't include before and you know really you would have had to have gotten one of these anyway because uh, this is just so so critical and difficult to do without a digital caliper so I'm going to go ahead and tear or zero out the caliper and then we're just going to get a measurement from the case to the crown stem or to the crown. That measurement there looks like 5.6 maybe 5.5 so now that we have that information, um, don't trust my measurements, take your own. We can go ahead and remove the crown back out. Get the watch out of the way here. We're going to take the crown off. And what I do is get a, a, a fine point sharpie. Hold the crown stem, the threaded part, up against your caliber to the measurement that we determined, which is 5.5 millimeters. And I just mark the area of the crown stem that we're going to be cutting off. Like so. We have a black stripe on the threading of the crown stem where we're going to make our cut. And then you're going to either have some end cutters. For the longest time I have just used my good old wire cutters to do this. The gauge of the crown stem seems to be very similar to a lot of wire in the audio video world and electronics which is the world I came from before I came into build your own watch so I'm just gonna grab it keep in mind this is gonna go flying when you cut it I'm gonna take my side cutters here like I said you may have a jeweler's end cutter in your kit but in either case you need some cutting tool and you're gonna go ahead and take very extra care not to cut it shorter than your black mark. Had to do that kind of off screen, but it's cut. And I still see a little bit of the black mark on the end of the crown stem. But the problem we're going to have now 
is it's an uneven cut. Very hard to cut it cleanly. So, you are going to want a diamond file of some type. You could use, and this is what I have always used and it works just for me. This is a, a knife diamond file. Um, the, the Casker Toolkit comes with a, a diamond file. And um, you're just going to want to file until you have a nice, perfectly flat edge to that crown stem. It's not as jagged. You don't want to file too much off because you don't want to end up filing it down to the point where it's too short and thus doesn't work in the watch. So this is uh, definitely something you want to pay attention to. Which is what, that, you know, that's really what makes having that black marking on there useful. Looks pretty good to me. Wipe this stuff off. My little filings is something you don't want to get on your watch. I'm going to take your crown. If you end up being unable to thread it, it might mean that you need to go ahead and um, do a little bit more filing because the threading is off. Mine went on. locking it into place. Pushing my detent. There's the winding or time setting position. Winding position. I'm turning my main uh, mainspring wheel there. Um, but as you can see, I still have a bit more to cut off. So you'll get out your. And I'd rather be in this position than have cut it, you know, cut it too short. It looks like to me. I only have about a 0 0.5, 0 0.8 millimeter to go. So you can either file it down to the right size or try cutting it again. If you have less than a millimeter to take off, you probably just want to go ahead and file it off. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. I'm going to get to m cutting my uh, crown stem to the right length. And, um, you know, next, next time you see me, the crown stem will be cut to the right length.